<laughs> Guys, let's discuss 7e over here. This is about word skills and how we work with verbs over here. There is a big problem with this, in my opinion, because we simply need to remember the verb patterns in here. And uh, let's have a look at how it works. So we have verbs after which we use the infinitive or the ing form. And most of the times we need to remember. So at first, what I need you to do, describe the picture. What do you think the woman is doing? So look at the picture here and write your, write your answers here. All right, then in two, read the text over here and then answer the questions one, two, three, four. When you're done with this, guys, this is where you learn the theory right here. This is uh, where you have the verb patterns. They will tell you uh, A, B and C. Some verbs are followed by the infinitive on another verb. So, for example, uh, she hopes to be a teacher. Do you want to go out? And then in B, some verbs are followed by ing of another verb. So I fancy going out, he keeps on interrupting. Some verbs are followed by either the infinitive or ing. So here it doesn't matter. You can use I like to do, I like doing, I start to do, I start doing, I love to do, I love doing, I prefer to do, I prefer doing. Here it doesn't matter. Unfortunately, guys, these patterns are something that we need to simply remember. How you remember, you have to find your way. All right. Uh, I think the best in my opinion, the best way might be to practice by listening, listening to movies especially. This is something that will solidify your knowledge in there. Uh, I can give you only one little rule that, will, that might help you in the future. If you see a preposition, for example, on or after or about, all right, then after the preposition, if you use a verb without any subject, it must be an ing form, all right? So, for example, they are talking about moving to Prague. He keeps on interrupting. Uh, what else? After, right? So, he went home after seeing the movie and, the, and so on. All right? So, then we use after prepositions. There are ING forms if you don't use any subject. Now, uh, when you're done with this, guys, you have to learn how to read a dictionary. You will read it in this exercise entries for verbs they will show you patterns the verbs uh, in which the verbs are used so when you check an uh, any dictionary all right then you will see that uh, over here they will show you some uh, dictionary entries we have the verb avoid we have the verb hate and we have the verb refuse i want you guys to check the information that the dictionary provides and then answer the question one and two all right, one and two. And then there's A, B, and C. I believe this will not be difficult for you, but we'll see. Then we have exercise five and six and seven. I want you to look up these words in the dictionary and find out whether you use ing or the infinitive. Maybe you already know it. If you know it, you don't have to find it in a dictionary, but maybe you're wrong. Okay, so it's much better to check it in the dictionary. Then uh, I need you to use these uh, to use these verbs and put them here, right? Uh, they are either the verbs from here or simply use the ing of the verbs you see right here. Okay? It can be ing, right, or the infinitive. Now the question is: Now we have the word promise. What follows after promise, right? Is it the ing or is it the is it to phone or is it phoning? Okay? So that's the question. And you need to complete the exercise here. Guys, I wish I had some other rules to, that can help you. But unfortunately, uh, we simply must remember. There's no other way. Number seven, complete the sentences with an infinitive or ing form. So here, in, this is your opinion right here. From one to eight, complete the sentences with your own opinion, your own life. All right? That's all, guys. Nothing else from here. So complete those exercises, take a picture of this and upload it to the proper task on Google Classroom. The following lesson will focus on a workbook and here you will try it again and you will see whether you remember uh, all those verbs and what, how uh, we should create the verbs after them.
All right, so thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Google Classroom or just send me an email. Bye-bye.